Well, hello everybody. Yeah, we're out here at the shop working on the knuckle duster. I'm, uh, see I took that, when I put this uh, new timing cover on with all this shit, I didn't like the way that seal was sealing up. It was old. So I just decided to bite the bullet. I'm going back, I'm doing it all right. I got the pan off. I'm gonna clean all that up, put a new pan gasket on it. Put a new seal and re-gasket. I just don't want any leaks. That's my main thing for no name and going to any track, I don't want any leaks. Now I did do that, I got like I said, I got the pan off and cleaned up. And I did this. I think everything when you do it, do it special. Have fun with it. So yeah, nobody's ever gonna see this under the car, but you know what? I know it's there. And it makes me happy and it makes me giggle. So yeah, we're gonna keep going on through this and uh I'll be giving you periodic updates and everything, so all right. Well we're back. I got the all that new seal put in the front. Got a new pan gasket on it. That pretty purple pan on there that nobody's ever going to see. So yeah, I just didn't want to leak. I'm just, I'm, I'm really paranoid about leaking at the racetrack. So yeah, now we just got to put the front of the motor back together. I'm going to do that, and then um, next weekend I should be getting the rest of my parts for the transmission from John Cope. And I'm going to be having the transmission done, then we're going to mate the engine transmission together, drop it in, and hopefully fire it up next weekend. So, then I got a few other things I still want to do to the car, but you know. If it's running and moving on its own, then it'll be fine for going to no name. And anything else I want to do is just icing. So, yep, we're going to get back to work putting the rest of this thing together. All right, well, it's uh, getting to be dark time. And we got her all back together. Now, like this alternator is just mocked up on here because... I ain't putting it back in the car with the alternator on it. I'm gonna end up taking all that off. And I gotta, still gotta measure, get the shims right for the new alternator and pulley. And I got my, got my oil filter on there. It's the only orange I like on the engine is my Fram filters. Then the distributor is gonna come out to put it in. Spark plug wires coming out. Where's my bag? You see a bag around here? Cause I already bought my spark plugs, but I don't know what I did with them. Oh well, we'll see those in the next video when I put them in. Let's just say I want to be a champion, so I bought I bought plugs to. Uh, to do that but yep that's all the work this motor's ready to go back in I just got to get the transmission ready to go back in when I get my parts that's something else I did there I put my and I'm not sure I've got some 45 degree fittings and I'm not sure if I want to use these 90s or the 45s but I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do braided uh, braided steel transmission lines too. I've got all the parts to do that. So like I said, I'm not going to use, I don't know if I'm going to use the 90s because I don't like the way this comes across, would come straight across the, uh, yeah, that, the linkage. So if anybody's done that and used 90s and been cool with it, leave me a comment. Or if you think I should use the 45s that'll come out here, I've got the fittings. Just whichever, if anybody's done it before, I'd like to know what would work better. And yeah, that's pretty much this video. 
you know what I always say like share subscribe if not where am I at I don't give up